Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Oh howdy. Hey cool cats and kittens. Today we're looking at Psalm chapter 23 verse 4. It says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, or some translations say the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So I was thinking about that. There's two things there that I have questions about. It says that the shepherd has a rod and a staff. Why does he have two things? And then I also want to know, I'm a little bit afraid of the dark. And so I want some help with that. And Shank, we made him all bright and cheery last week, so maybe he can help me out with that. So Shank, come on out. Oh, don't be shy. You're so silly. Can you guys call out to Shank on the count of three? Just yell out, hey, Shank. One, two, three. Hey, Shank! Howdy, Eric. I'm here. Thanks for hosing me down last week. My shepherd was happy to see me looking all clean and bright. Well, actually, Shank, this week I need your help. We're learning about shepherds in Psalm 23, and I want to know how it is that a shepherd has both a rod and a staff. What does he do with both of those things? Well, the staff is what draws us close to the shepherd, so he can hold us and keep us safe. And the rod beats off the bad things that might take us away from the shepherd. So the rod defends and the staff protects. I guess God's kind of the same way. God draws us close to him through his word, through the church, through Jesus, and through his love. But then he also defends us. And so he goes after our enemies of the devil and sin, and he does that through forgiveness, he does that through his word too, but then he also stops bad things from happening to us. I don't know how many times I should have been in a major car accident, but I haven't, and so I'm thankful for that. Yeah, you're a bad driver. Yeah, but there's something that scares me more than my driving, Shank. I'm afraid of the dark. I thought you might be able to help me with it. Are you afraid of the dark? Nope, that's the best time to do nothing and sleep. I'm surrounded by sheep to count, and I'm made out of a wool blanket. The night is the best time to be a sheep. Well, I am kind of afraid of the dark. And tonight, after dinner, I'm going to have to go out and put the garbage away in the can, and it's going to be super dark, and I'm going to need some help. Do you, think, do you think you could help me with that? Sure, I even have something that can help with that. I've got something back here. I have a flashlight. Wait, where did you get a flashlight on top of your head? You don't have opposable thumbs. It's best not to ask too many questions in this land of make-believe we've created. True. Well, I will thank you for your help. I will see you tonight after dinner. Dinner was good, but it's done. That means I have to take the trash out now. Shank, are you ready? Yep, just follow my lead. You got this. But man, you don't understand. I am so scared. It's okay. My fluff and my mag light will comfort you. All right, light my way. So scared, so scared, so scared. Hey, look, Eric, we made it. That's right, Shank, we made it. Just like that, so easy. All right, now, Shank, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab you and we're gonna run all the way back in the house because that's how I normally do this. Let's go. Great job, Shank. Up top. So helpful knowing you were with me. Your fluff and your mag light, they comforted me. It's helpful to know we have a God 
whose rod and staff protects us to wherever we go, beyond the shadow of death or the darkest valley, God is there to comfort and protect us. That's right, Shank. And we have Jesus who went through worse than whatever it is we're going through. And he is our light and he comforts and protects us. Come to think of it, that's what rod and staff mean. The rod protects us and the staff comforts us. And that's what Jesus does for us. We have a God who does both. And I'm thankful I have a shepherd who does both. I should go see him. Bye, bye, bye. Bye bye, Shank. Good to see you. Thanks for your help. Well, and with it being Mother's Day today, you also should thank your mom for comforting and protecting you too. God works through moms really well. So why don't you fold your hands, bow your heads, and repeat after me. Dear God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us in the good places and scary places too. Protect us and comfort us. And all God's people said, Amen. Remember, it's not about the sheep, it's about the shepherd.